This is Good Morning Connecticut on News 8. We're going to head into the kitchen as well. We have Chef Julie Hardigan here this morning. She's going to put together a chicken gyro bowl with some very interesting ingredients. Mm. I always love these bowls. Me too. They've yes. become quite trendy, the different bowls. I know. So, and she, does, you and have, she does it really on. well. Yeah. Julie comes up with oh, interesting bowls. Yeah, I like That's it. That's right. And her Instagram's great as well. And Chef Julie standing by in the kitchen to show us the ingredients for chicken gyro bowls with tahini drizzle. Yum. That's next. All right, prepping our eight-minute meal with professional chef Julie Hardigan and quite literally prepping a week's worth of meals. Exactly. Actually, really with this. This is pretty incredible. So these are gyro bowls? Yes, exactly. Okay. They're no-cooked chicken gyro bowls with a really delicious creamy tahini dressing. And oh. what I love about this dish, first of all, who has time to cook on a busy weeknight, right? right? You want something fast that you can put together for the whole family. But the other thing that's great about this recipe, you can prep a whole week's worth of healthy lunches to bring to work. Meal prep Monday and meal prep Sunday. This is a fantastic dish to do that with. Yeah. So now that football is back on, I find I Sunday is good to do this because you're home you're again home. from summer yes. exactly and this uses a mix of pantry staples that you can keep on hand some things I love to cook with okay chickpeas artichoke hearts roasted peppers we were just talking in water versus in oil we yes. try to keep things light and healthy sure and for a little punch of flavor I love using these little pepper rings so oh. these are just things that you can keep around so you're ready to make this dish and then the only things you would need to pick up at the store would be some baby spinach and tomatoes if you like them in your bowls mm -hmm. um, I always give people permission to just pick up the grilled chicken at the supermarket if you don't want to deal with grilling. But you're right, Sunday fun day, you could like sure. toss some chicken Girl on the grill. Yeah. And then to really lighten things up and keep it really low carb and low calorie, I'm using cauliflower rice here. Mm -hmm. So for people that aren't familiar with cauliflower rice, you can pick it up at the supermarket, usually pre-made in the prepared produce section. But if not, here's my little hack, you guys. <laughs> you just add the florets to a little food processor like this. Yep. And you just made yourself cauliflower rice. Oh, really? It's and that's that it? easy. They that's don't it. add anything? They don't add anything. That's it. And you can eat it raw. It gives a great crunch to your salads. And again, it's going to slash calories and carbs. And then afterwards, we're going to make a really delicious tahini dressing. Ooh. So for those of you who haven't been cooking with tahini, it's a sesame paste. So think of it like sesame seeds. Uh, similar to peanut butter, right? So okay. it's got that rich, creamy sesame flavor. Oh, and we're going to mix it with a few easy ingredients to make a really delicious drizzle oh, this for this. Good. All right, you're selling me on this. I can't <laughs> wait. All right, this is going to be fun to put together. Thank for you sure. so much. Looking forward to it. We are going to be heading back to the kitchen. We want to put together the ingredients for that chicken gyro dish that we started. It looks so good over there. Stay with us. Good morning, Connecticut at 9. I'll be right back. All right. Really, really fabulous ingredients. Whatever we have, right? right? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the great thing about bowls. You can use your favorite ingredients, mm -hmm. pantry yeah. staples like I talked about with Laura. The reason I love using these veggies, the baby spinach, tomatoes, and the cauliflower rice is you can eat it cold or warm, oh, which is really nice, good. you know? So if you were meal prepping for a week's worth of lunches, you would love line that. up your containers like I did up front and just kind of assembly line, start adding your ingredients. So I started out, I've got the spinach, tomatoes, and the cauliflower rice, and then we're just going to add some nice chickpeas mm. for more bite and some protein. I love artichoke hearts and roasted peppers. They're things that people don't always think to keep on hand to add to dishes, but they add great flavor. Oh, it's I like, like another veggie dose. And then I'm a huge pickled pepper fan, just oh. to give that little like punch on little top. Kick. Keep a jar of those in the fridge. And then some grilled chicken. But let's get to the fun part, which is the tahini the sauce. drizzle. Oh, can't wait for Yum. this. Yum. Okay, so tahini is like what you would have on a falafel, you okay. know, that kind yeah. of a drizzle. Okay. So it's got that nutty sesame flavor. So we're just going to combine it with a little bit of fat free Greek yogurt to give it a creaminess and a lightness. And then a few of my favorite spices, you guys. Okay. I always tell people to cook with these. Smoked paprika. Okay. It's got a smoky, rich, kind of like a barbecue flavor. It's not like the paprika that you would have on your potato salad, on grandma's potato salad. It's um, made this from is... dried smoked peppers. <laughs> yeah, it gives it like a richness, a little bit of a kick. Yeah. And then some cumin. You guys like to okay. cook with cumin? Yes. It's like what makes tacos I have all taste these in my so pantry. delicious. This awesome. Is good. So we're going to add a little bit of cumin to our dressing. Then a punch of lemon juice. I'm okay. a big fan of citrus juice. And I love this gadget. Do you guys have one of these? I don't. No, it makes but I've your seen life it. so easy, guys. Yeah. You just put the lemon cut side down, give it a little squeeze. 
catches the seeds. Oh, I just do it by You can get these on Amazon so anywhere. <laughs> and this one, you guys are going to love this. Then some fresh garlic. Oh, fresh Thank garlic. All right. Yes. Yes. Microplane. It's this a little fine grater. Mm -hmm. We're just going to add a little bit of garlic to this. This is fresh garlic. You know what? It gives it like a nice punch of sharpness. Mm. And by the way, the other reason I love this dressing, you can use it on your bowls. It's also great on just roasted veggies mm. or grilled chicken or grilled Anything. fish. Oh, you can and smell you the whisk garlic. it together. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I like it because if you are meal prepping your lunch ahead for the week, like I did up there, this isn't a soggy wet dressing that's going to kind of make your salad oh, go yeah. limp. It stays nice and thick and rich right on top. You can and just it, add a little bit of water to thin and give it a stir and... Voila. Yeah, voila. I'll show you. This is what we're looking for when we're done. Beautiful. So, yeah, absolutely. I love this one. about your YouTube channel. I know. This we've... is a new exciting development. <laughs> Thank you. It is exciting, you guys. I'm very excited about it. If you've seen me on here, I have a new YouTube show. Mm -hmm. It's called Where Happy Meets Healthy, and it's all about an upbeat approach to healthy cooking. Awesome. Instead of that guilt and deprivation and feeling bad about yourself, I want to show people how healthy Positive. food can be beautiful and it. fun and easy. When happy meets it's, yeah, it's Cooking W. Julie, you guys. So, um, you can go on YouTube, Cooking W. Julie, Wait. Instagram, like Instagram, you said. We're all Instagram buddies at yep. Cooking W. Julie. Yeah, yeah. And my website, too, cookingwjulie.com. Nice.